I just wanna do what feels good to me. You feel me? And once you get to that point where you start doing what feels good to you and not what's right in the sight of God, that's when the problems gonna start happening. Yeah. Because a lot of induced stress and problems in our lives, yeah. that stuff could have been avoided if we just made the right choices and decisions. People only gotta understand what feels good to you is it always right for you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What always feels good ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> Television too, man. Yeah. I gotta understand it's a whole propaganda. That's commercials designed to make you think and feel a certain type of way with the visuals and the sounds and everything. Mm -hmm. So you think it's your choices because I like what they posted, right? But it's whoever created that post had a, had a, a hidden agenda, you in a sense? So when it comes to your mind, if you know something different, a hidden agenda is not, you can, that's kind of like your friends. They want to do this thing, you know what you want to do. It's something in you that's telling that something ain't right. You got to get what I mean? Yeah. That's what he said about especially the ultimate king. Yep, especially if it's always something that's going to appease to the senses. Yes. If it's something that's always appeal, appealing to the taste, to the sight, to the feel, touch, all that, yeah. that's honestly Probably. a trap. Yes. For deception right there, because it's not appeasing to your spirit. True. So that's why I was telling y'all the, the, the food component. Be careful what you feed your spirit. You feel what I'm saying? So again, that's once y'all got once, once you get that, y'all yeah. got the game you're going with, man. I'm just happy to be we, we, man. we, 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 we <laughs> see what y'all gonna grow to. Right. Do you want us to come back? <laughs> yeah, come back. All right, all right. We appreciate y'all. We literally want us to know what y'all gonna One one last question. What are what are some of the things that you uh would like to see us come back and talk on? Well, one thing what I would personally like for y'all to come back on and talk to is about how we shouldn't always be so indecisive about some decisions. And another thing is this. Um, he got an agenda for y'all. <laughs> another thing is, I want to talk about how time is your enemy and your friend. Wow. Um, and I can break that down a little bit more because. No, so, so you're going to teach y'all. <laughs> you know, I always say time, people always say the time heals, but. You never know when your life will be gone. Like yeah, you said, the guy that's been in time and faith. So. Before your time, how old are you? No, no, no. I'm only 14. You got the pill up Wow. He got the pill I'm only 14. You are an ambassador yeah. for your generation, man. Yeah, you are, man. I wish you good they luck. Have both at the same time. Fall within my door. Walked. Walked home early in the morning. Walked. So everything that you see, like from the animation to the, um, so from everything from the animation to the color grading to the sound design, um, you name it, that's what we basically do from top to bottom. Um, I started my journey a long time ago. I basically was, um, I was doing like music production. So I was self-taught. I was going in studios, making tracks, making beats, engineering and mixing sessions or whatnot. Um, what I did is, is I was interning. I proactively went to a um, TV station or whatnot and went and got a sound, or I got an internship with that station. And I chose that particular station because I wanted more hands-on experience so that it would give me a leg up versus anybody else from when I went to a big internship. So I read every day and I write every day. You know what I'm saying? This, this put me in a position to be able to do a, way more than the average brother my age. You know what I'm saying? I like to dress. I like to, you know what I'm saying, go, go, get, go grab the J's and all that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But like, at the same time, I be training my mental every day, you know, but like, the thing is, what I want, I want to uh, express to y'all is like, that's why I asked y'all about school. It's a process, and you have to make that process dope for yourself, you know. I ain't go to school just because, oh, I had a scholarship, whatever. I went to school because I said I was going to get myself out of a situation or whatever, but make the best out of it. And if I wanted, like I said, I wanted to rap, you know what I'm saying? I do spoken word and all this stuff or whatever, but like I said, I wanted to rap. So, you know what I'm saying, coming from where I'm from, you know, we got the J's, the Nines, and the people like that or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that's what I knew. But it's like, to understand how to manipulate words, that's a totally different thing. I'm ready to tell y'all, yeah, it is, purpose. It's a such thing as purpose and there's a such thing as God. I was born homeless. I spent 14 years of my life homeless on the street. I slept in garages, cars, whatever. Under the bridge by um, Tucker, it used to be across the street from McDonald's downtown. I'm the reason why there ain't no bridge right there no more. Because I started telling that it was people down there sleeping. We used to, families was down there under that bridge sleeping. Homies, I spent them days. Through that, through them ugly years, them embarrassing years, I know what that's like. And under that, by the grace of God, all those bad situations that I went through didn't turn me in a, into a career criminal. It didn't turn me into an inhumane monster. 
Because it's okay to be human. And as a human man, as a human being, we have feelings. Men can cry. Well, we're on my way. The cops got the same thing, only it work in reverse. Because one flash from that tool can get rid of that body, leaving only recollections and memories. See, cops killing us and we killing ourselves. Plus, AIDS and cancer is rapidly taking our lives. But if none of these killers are slowing down, then y'all tell me. How in the hell are we supposed to survive? See, usually I'm on stage. I may punchline. I may scheme. I may tell a few jokes. No, I said all our lives we've been punched on and schemed and hung from trees to choke. But oh, this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Y'all want me to pipe down. Well, try telling that to the parents of Oscar Grant, Eric Gordon, and Sean Bell, and Mike Brown. See, they say it's about race. And it is. But it's right versus wrong. Let's not get it misconstrued. Because in Ferguson, I marched with white people, but got tear gas by black cops. So tell me how the hell am I not supposed to be confused? I mean, an 18-year-old kid dies. So we burn it up. And what they, they turn their back on us. But Martin Luther King said, rioting is the language of the unheard. That was the message for these deaf mother... Like when they say, the hell with the government, and then we take that as a joke. I mean, they did all that fighting for the right to but failed to teach us how to vote. I mean, they fought for desegregation, and when they won, they felt glory, but then get mad at the white man for him teaching us his story. See, these politicians remind me of Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. You know how comfortable, because now they're in the limelight for getting everything that made them relevant. They don't even show up when the time's right. See, they asked me what my problem is, and I told them, put yourself in my position. No matter what, always fit the description. Wow. That was good. Cool.